If you're taking a stroll through the Laurel Park neighborhood, you're gonna notice a beautiful custom lampshade shop. It's called L. Daniel Custom Shades. When I stood in front of L. Daniel Custom Shades, I looked up at her windows and I saw all these different gorgeous fabrics and different sizes and shapes of lampshades. So I went right around the corner, knocked on the door, and this amazing person answered the door who matched my personality. Linda, it was just a few years ago that we met. Were you surprised when I knocked on that door? No, no I wasn't. People do it all the time because I live here as well. And so I'll get people on a Sunday afternoon peering through the windows. They'll come right up the window and stare in and they don't realize I live here. But people knock on the door all the time. What I've noticed is that your lampshades have so many different fabrics. Do you supply the fabrics or do people bring them in? Both. I have a huge array of fabrics here in the studio, and then sometimes people will bring in a fabric that they love or that they know goes with their decor, or they could they bring in, um, say, a vintage tablecloth that they want made into a lampshade. Um, it just varies from client to client. What is your best advice to women when they're choosing custom lampshades to accessorize a room? What I typically tell them is sort of pull together everything that's in the room with different colors and patterns and what have you, and then make the lampshade out of that. You, you've got rugs, you've got curtains, you've got upholstery, uh, you've got paint on the walls, you've got flooring. Um, so you just sort of try to pull a little bit from everything and then come up with a shade that sort of encompasses all of that and it can just make a room sing. It doesn't make it crazy when you walk into a room or a shop and you see a white lampshade? Oh, it it, <laughs> it it drives me crazy. And of course, my motto is life's too short for white lampshades. <laughs> so, I mean, even if people have white lampshades and they're a little reticent to do a pattern, you know, they don't want to go too big or too bold, I say just do a little trim. A little trim will make it look so finished and polished and it can still just change the look of a room. It's great. Who is the most famous person you've made a lampshade for? I don't know if you've ever seen the show Say Yes to the Dress. Oh, gosh, yes. Okay, well, Say Yes to the Dress Atlanta, uh, Monty Durham, who's a friend of mine, opened a hair salon in Old Town Alexandria, Virginia, in the D.C. area, and we did some beautiful shades for him. We did cowhide, uh, cowhide chandelier shades which were beautiful and then we did some rectangular shades with his logo on them and they're just stunning they just they just pop. I did see a picture of that in a, in a publication lampshades are just to me a great way to add color interest to the room without spending a fortune without a doubt without a doubt and people have discovered that and it's really fun it's you know a lot of this has been educating the public on why they need lampshades that aren't white. And people are really catching on. They're loving it. It gives them such great energy. They're like handing out my cards to their neighbors, you know, but they, they just love the way it changes the look of a room. And you know, you're looking at that lampshade all the time and you just never realized how much you needed it. Right, right. <laughs> if you like L. Daniel custom lampshades, give this video a like and share and help your friends elevate their beautiful homes with custom lampshades. I've put all the information below for you to get in touch with L. Daniel Lampshades.